So I've been doing some shopping and since you guys loved my coffee bar video so much, I decided to show you guys how I create my Valentine's Day coffee bar video and I am so excited. Finally went out yesterday and finished my Valentine's Day shopping and I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I got and how I decorate my coffee bar video. Let me show you guys everything that I got for Valentine's Day this year. All right, so I told myself I wasn't going to go overboard this year and I was just going to get a few things just to make it look like we're celebrating Valentine's Day and make it special for the kids. Uh, but nothing crazy, nothing like Christmas this year. But let me break down everything that I got for you guys here. So this whole section right here is everything that I got from Target and this is everything I got from Home Goods. So from Target, I got picked up both of these bath towels because I needed them really bad and I love this material and the color it's just perfect and it I love it because it'll fit perfect for Valentine's Day but I can also transition this easily into spring so this is definitely gonna last me a while I also went ahead and picked up these bath towels from Target as well they are so cute I do have multiple bathrooms so I'm gonna see how I can decorate these in my bathroom. I went ahead and picked up this table runner. The print is so pretty. I can use it either way, but I'm definitely gonna use this side for my coffee bar. I think it's so cute and it's gonna add a great pop of color under my coffee machine. I also picked up from the dollar spot the cutest little jars. So this one says made with love and this is perfect, the bottom one, to from the milk for my coffee and all of that and then this is such a cute little sugar um, jar and it was perfect and it was from the dollar spot so it was definitely affordable from the dollar spot I also picked up this candle it was so cute and it smells so good I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in the coffee bar yet but I have it here and see if we can make it fit in I also picked up the cutest little bouquet of flowers. Obviously, they're faux flowers, but this is so cute and it's gonna add such a cute touch to the coffee bar. I also picked up yesterday from a Target because I went into a different Target yesterday than my normal Target and I saw this and I had to pick it up. As you can see, it's like a little tray and I think this is gonna be perfect for my coffee syrups or mugs or I don't know, just anything. Honestly, it is so freaking cute. I can even put some cookies on here. I think that would be so cute. I also went ahead and picked up the cutest mugs from Target. So when I went to Target, I went the day after Christmas and I saw these mugs and I picked up all of them that, th that were there. I grabbed all of them because there was no more and I'm actually really sad because I would have liked a couple more. I know that they had them in red as well, but my Target was out of them by the time I went, but they are so stinking cute. I'm, I'm gonna love drinking my coffee out of these every morning. From Home Goods, I got this very classic love sign, which I think is just gonna add a nice touch to the coffee bar for some nice decor. I went ahead and picked up these kitchen towels to have hanging from my oven. They are so freaking cute and I like that it comes with this so that we can mix and match and I think they are so aesthetic and so pleasing to the eye. I also went ahead and picked up this candy jar. It has such a cute like little touch and it's gonna be perfect. Since I picked up this candy jar, I also went ahead Madison just left this here, but I also went ahead and picked up some candy. This is chocolate covered pretzels. They're gonna look perfect at the coffee bar. These are some marshmallows. They're nice and big and they're gonna look so cute. I also saw these at Home Goods and they are rose honey stirs and they're shaped like a little heart and they're so cute. You guys cannot be sleeping on Home Goods. I always find the cutest little things there especially for like a coffee bar or to have it is so stinking cute and it was so incredibly affordable so these are my candies that I'm 
planning on putting out at the coffee bar. And then I went ahead, Madison is playing with this because it is so cute. I went ahead and picked up this little gingerbread Hi, home. Guys. <laughs> and I, you can light it up just like that. So nighttime, you can definitely create an ambiance and it is so stinking cute. Let me show you it all around, just like that. When I saw this, I knew I had to grab it. So it's gonna add such a cute touch to my coffee bar. So now with everything that I have here, let's create a beautiful coffee bar. Let me show you what I'm working with right now. I almost forgot to show you guys. I also picked this up from Home Goods. You guys, it is so freaking cute. It says XOXO, be mine, love you, and text me. And my original plan with this was here on my coffee bar as a little decor, but it doesn't fit. Unfortunately, the shelf is too low and it won't fit, but I'll definitely find a little home for it. It is so stinking cute. Brandon keeps telling me to stop bringing big things into the house because we don't know where we're going to store them after, but that's a problem for later. If I see it at the store and I love it, I need to have it, but this is the coffee bar, how we're working with it right now. I took down all my Christmas decor. This was all decorated for Christmas. It was red it was beautiful christmas is over and it is now time for valentine's day so these are things that i plan on keeping on my coffee bar obviously my water kettle because i use this every single day my coffee jar again i use this a lot this is also a find that i had at home goods for christmas time these are little honey stirs and we use these a lot with our teas that are in here so these are definitely staying. My frother, I use this bad boy multiple times a day, so that is staying. Obviously, my coffee machine. This is where I had my spoons for Christmas, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna keep it or not. Right now, it's just out, and if I can use it, that'd be great. If not, I'll just put it away until next time. My little French press, I use this bad boy constantly, multiple times a week, so this is definitely staying on my coffee bar and then i just have these two jars that i bought for christmas time and maybe they can be useful for the candy or anything that i need and then obviously up here there is nothing so let's go ahead and set everything out and start creating this space for valentine's day What you do
finally finished my Valentine's Day decor for my coffee bar. So let me explain to you guys my process of thinking while creating this space. So I definitely wanted to showcase the mugs because they're so cute. So I don't know if you guys remember my stand from my last coffee bar, but I had taken it out for Christmas, but I thought it would be great to showcase my mugs this, this time around. So I went ahead and put them all there. I think they look great. So I had put a wood board down here and put everything down, but I didn't really like how it was coming out. And I had completely forgotten about this tray thing that I had bought. I went ahead and assembled it and put everything on there. And I think it looks so much better this way. I have my honey stirs and then down here I have my sugar and my creamer little cup. So I think it looks so cute. And then the candle to tie everything together. And then of course, just my essentials, my coffee machine, my kettle, the frother. I was thinking I could buy possibly those like little stickers that people use to put on windows but i can put them on the glass i'm gonna have to see if i can run to like the dollar store or something like that and find something along the lines just to brighten this area up a little bit but i think it looks so cute i definitely wanted to go simple and i think that's what it's giving simple but super cute and then up here i that just put up a few of these things the gingerbread home and these vases i bought them at home goods before christmas and i love them i think it goes great with my valentine's day decor um and it also will go great with you know spring and all of that i do need to buy flowers for here i'm thinking like some white flowers to go here just to give some height and you know just to add some life to up here i have my special coffee that i have been drinking it is freaking amazing and i have it in here so this is something i use every single day and it definitely makes it look a little bit more full once i add the flowers this will all come together and then of course the love sign right in the middle and then over here i put the chocolate covered pretzels in this little jar i think it is so cute and then the marshmallows are right here they are so cute in there and then i had to add my french press i think it looks great there it is super simple but definitely functional and super cute i love adding the uh table runner to the coffee bar i did this for christmas as well and i think it makes it look a lot more full put together and definitely a great way to add color so i freaking love this it came out so stinking cute i did have my other honey stirs but i just decided to put it in my tea drawer for now maybe i'll take them out next season but for right now this is looking so cute and i just went ahead and added this right there for now i might move it to my living room but this is my coffee bar you guys it is so cute so functional and i can't wait to make myself a nice warm cup of coffee all right you guys so it is much later now and i had completely forgotten that i bought these spoons at the dollar spot a few weeks ago and i had gotten them for this for my valentine's day coffee bar and i'm so excited that I remembered about them because they are so stinking cute and so I just have them laid out here in the coffee bar so that we can use it to mix our coffee and our tea they are so cute they're like a beautiful gold color it came in a pack of four so I went ahead and bought two packs this is gonna be more than enough for us but yeah, I didn't want to end the video without showing you guys these spoons because they are so cute. And if your Target has them, you definitely need them. And since they are like little flowers, I think they'd be great for springtime too, which would be amazing. So I went ahead and I just put them in this little cup that I had here from Christmas. And 
yeah so this is my finished coffee bar i went ahead and added my coffee syrups because i use these every morning and tomorrow i'll go and pick up some flowers from there but this is it you guys and i am just so happy with how it all came out so thank you guys once again for tuning in and watching and watching me create this beautiful coffee bar for valentine's day if you had stayed up to this point in the video thank you guys so much for watching and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it just shows me that you guys really like this type of video and i'll just keep creating more of them for you and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet what you doing go ahead and join the family i am so happy to have you here and 2024 is going to be full of great and exciting things and i would not want you to miss out on anything so go ahead and subscribe and thank you guys again for watching see you on the next one Bye.